Guys, what's up? Charlie Pangus here. So today is the day I bring back t-shirt design videos, and for good most likely, because a lot of you guys have been asking me for them, and I figured why wouldn't I wanna bring value to you guys? So this is my way of bringing value back to this channel. So with all that out of the way, today we're gonna to be creating a really cool space badge t-shirt design. Um, we're doing it all in Illustrator, and the really cool thing about this tutorial is that you guys are gonna learn how to create those badge shapes from scratch. I'm gonna show you guys my techniques, what tools I use, and all that good stuff. What am I doing rambling on? Let's go and hop into Illustrator and get started. So I have a space badge here that I already designed and I added some texture to it on other versions of it. And we also have one that's colored, but we're not gonna focus too much on color today simply because I wanna show you guys how to actually design. And a lot of you watching are new to designing and maybe you're just not familiar with how it works. So um, I don't wanna complicate things. We might do a video on how to color this design later on. So going back with the first design here that I actually created without the texture, it's pretty simple. It may look complex, but it's actually really simple. It's just a bunch of different shapes combined in order to create this space badge that you see here. Um, the rocket that I have in this design is actually free to use on freepick.com and guess what guys I included that in the description below so you guys can go there right now and pause the video go there download the space vector for free and use it as you follow along with me and I'm going to start providing all the resources in all these videos so um, I hope you guys are excited about that anyway let's begin so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over to a new artboard because I want to start from scratch so I can show you guys how this works so I'm gonna zoom out real quick all right, so we're zoomed out. I'm gonna paste that right there. So now I have my reference here. Um, I moved the original badge shape out of the way. We're gonna start from scratch, of course. So what I wanna do is first zoom in. Now the way this actually starts is I use the rectangle tool in order to create obviously a rectangle and then I round the bottom of the rectangle in order to create that nice badge shape that we see here. So it's actually quite simple. So what I wanna do is go to my rectangle tool first. You can also hit M on your keyboard. That will go to it. And we're just gonna drag out a nice rectangle. So the goal here is to make it sort of tall but not too tall. So you could kind of just copy me. It's really just a matter of playing with it to see what works for you. But I'm gonna drag it out to about right there and we're gonna fill this with black because I wanna show you guys what it actually looks like real quick. So now we have our rectangle and as you can see, on each corner, if I zoom in, you can see there's these little circles. So if you look at the bottom left and right, you guys can see these little white dots. What those tiny little circles do is they allow you to round corners. So you can actually go to your direct selection tool and select specific corners on whatever shape you have um, and you can round the corner on that. What I like to do is I like to take my direct selection tool and just select certain parts of the shape to round instead of rounding the entire shape because originally if we just go to the selection tool and uh, actually select this and then we go to round it it's going to create more of like an oval circle type shape right we don't want that we want to go to the direct selection tool and we want to select just the bottom left holding in shift and then select the bottom right and what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to just round the bottom and not the top which is what we want so we're just going to go to any corner and hover over one of those white circles and we're going to drag up because we have both the left and right corner on the bottom selected and as you guys can see it's going to create a shape like this and that's as easy as it gets and you guys can get as complex as you want with this method from there I'm actually happy with the way things are going so what I would like to do is I would like to create an actual outline on this design because I don't want Want it solid filled I want it as a stroke all you have to do to change this to a stroke is actually go to your bottom left foreground color where it says fill X and you just hit the little arrow right here and it's gonna actually add that black to the stroke instead and it's gonna make the inside color that was black a transparent color now I don't like how thin this is so I'm just gonna go up to my stroke and I'm gonna change the points to something thicker so we're gonna go to like a let's say a seven point we'll start off actually with a six point so I have a six point stroke really simple and the next thing I wanna do is create this top part. So if I move up here a little bit, you can see there's a line that I actually divided the whole design with so I can fit the text on top. So we're gonna add that real quick. Now all I wanna do is go to my line segment tool, which is right under the text tool here, which is right under the type tool, and we're gonna actually use that. So we're just gonna drag out a line, holding in shift, uh, we're gonna drag to the right, and then we're gonna let go of everything. Now I'm not a big fan of how tall this is, so what I wanna do is go back to my direct selection tool, and I wanna select the top left and top right corners. So once you select the top left and right, you can drag down and you can resize it um, proportionally instead of dragging one side down and not the other. So that's really, really useful 
um, for doing that. Now, as you guys can see, I have that line segment tool. I basically uh, started from the left and I dragged it to the right holding in shift. And what it did is it took on the characteristic of my stroke that I already had because it remembers what you did. It's kind of hard to explain, but trust me, it works. And that's perfect, that's what we wanted. We wanna keep everything nice and uniform and consistent. So now what I wanna do is go to my ellipse tool. So I can just hit L on my keyboard and that's going to go to that. And then what I wanna do is hold in shift and drag out a circle. And we're gonna make it pretty big. We're gonna fill up that entire area here and we're just gonna basically center it. So now we have a really nice bad shape going here. We didn't add any details yet, but we're really close to getting to that point. And the really cool thing about this is all we used is the ellipse tool and the rectangle tool and the line segment tool so far, and we rounded some corners and we already got this. So you guys can see how you can really do whatever you want in Illustrator using these tools. So the next thing we wanna do is we actually wanna fill that circle with white because I'm gonna add lines behind it and I don't want them to show. So in order to, um, you know, make it a little easier on us. We're just gonna fill it with white. So now to white fill, and what we can do is we can actually go back to our line segment tool and we can start adding some lines all the way across. So we're gonna click once with this line segment tool and then actually hold and shift and then drag to the right again. So the reason why I hold and shift is because I wanna make sure that line segment tool when I drag it out is completely level. If you don't hold shift, it will be a little more difficult to make sure it's level horizontal completely. So um, just hold and shift, it makes your life a lot easier. Now, it's a little too thick, guys, so what we wanna do is we just wanna um, lower the point to like a, let's say a three. We can go a little thicker if we wanted to. We can go to a four, so now I have a four point line segment stroke, and what I wanna do is just center that real quick. So now what we wanna do is actually duplicate it a bunch of times, um, just so we have more coming down this left and right side here, and that's really easy to do. You just wanna select the line segment tool that you just dragged out, you wanna hold an option, and then once you see the double arrow, you can actually left click, and drag down and what it's going to do is it's going to copy it and then you can basically let go. And then from here you can kind of space them out how you want to. You don't have to be perfect because this trick I'm gonna show you is gonna fix it no matter if it's spaced out perfectly or not. Um, so actually that's enough I think. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select them all. We're actually gonna lower the stroke to three because I think it's a little too thick. And we're gonna go up to these alignment tools right here and we're gonna go to align to selection and we're actually going to um, do vertical distribute center and what that's gonna do is it's gonna perfectly space them out for you instead of you having to eye it and kind of figure out if it's right or not. And that's a cool little trick I use all the time. So we're done with the lines, but what I need to do is I actually need to make sure they're not falling outside of the bad shape because they are right now. So what I wanna do is I just wanna select the entire design. I wanna go down to my Shape Builder tool here. So I just went to my Shape Builder tool and while selecting everything, including those lines, I can hold an option and I can basically, while holding an option, I can click and drag and I can delete things really easily. And as you guys can see, it works really nice, right? So we have one more problem though. We just created those line segments, but the issue is the circle is actually not solid filled like I wanted it. For some reason it didn't work, so I just have to fix that. I just have to add a solid white fill to it, and that fixes it right away. So as you can see, they're in the back now, and that's exactly what we wanted. Um, we're pretty much close to being done now. Now what I wanna do is zoom out real quick and we're gonna add some text before we move on to the actual spaceship and adding that in there. So to actually add text, all you do is hit T on your keyboard and you left click and you can type out space or whatever you want, it's up to you. Font I'm using is called Marriott Pro. Um, it's a pretty universal font and that's the reason why I'm using it and I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys actually have that font in your Photoshop program. So um, we're gonna drag that out and basically resize it real quick. So I just dragged it out and I made it a little bigger. One thing I don't like right now is the text is really closely spaced. And in order to change that, it's actually really easy. All you do is hold an option and then you hit the right or left arrow keys and you can actually space the text out fairly easily. We're gonna move on now. So now I have the spaceships right here pulled up already. And I'll, again, you guys can download those in the description below. Um, we're gonna select this one right here and double click on these little stars. We don't want those on this specific version. Um, so we're just gonna delete them real quick. Then we're gonna do Command X to cut it, and we're gonna paste it in our design here, and we're gonna fill it black to match with our design. So I just dragged that into place really quickly, and I just transformed it a little bit. But it's important to note that you wanna kinda make sure that circle looks like an actual circle. You wanna make sure it looks even. So that's done now. The one thing I do wanna do is I actually wanna select the top left and top right corner of the badge, and I just wanna round it just a little bit. So that's basically all you do to create this design. It's really, really simple. I added some texture. If you guys wanna add texture to it, watch my texture video that I just came out with. I'll put it at the end of this video so you guys can check out that video because it will teach you how to actually take this design and texture it. That's it for this t-shirt design tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, 
Be sure to leave a like, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you love my content and you wanna support me, I have a donation link below. You can donate any amount. I'm not asking for anything though. You don't have to do that, but if you love my content enough um, and you just wanna help me out, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, the donation link's in the description. I'll also have links to a t-shirt design masterclass that I have on Udemy in case you guys wanna learn even more than I'm teaching now. But that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video, peace. Thank you.